What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the third beta of macOS Sonoma. And in this video, I'll be showing you everything that I can spot in this update. Let's go. So the first change is probably the first one that you may notice. If you press command space, you'll notice that there's a new outline around here. I'm not sure if this is a bug, but it kind of looks pretty cool. It looks a little bit more like the iOS version. So I wouldn't mind if Apple keeps it like this. Now most of the other changes are actually inside Safari. So we actually got a couple in here that I'd like to show you today. So if we were to go up here into view and then show favorites bar, you're going to notice that they now have icons next to them. And another change is in side of this right here you'll now notice that your tab groups are right here so new empty tab group and then there your tab groups right here and new windows here are your new windows i would just wish apple can put create new profile underneath the new window or something like that and i'm not sure how i feel about tab groups i think i should be disabled by default since not many people use tab groups but i could see people using profiles inside the home app if we were to open up our launch pad and go straight into home you will see that we have a brand new splash screen right here. So it's the same one as iOS. So we got accessory control widgets, new look and feel, and activity history. None of these are brand new. We just had these for a while. As you can see, I have the widget already placed right here. Now the next one has to do with pages, numbers, and keynote. So if we were to open up a document inside of pages, you notice that the typing indicator has been reverted back to Mac OS 13. So it's now just a normal typing indicator. It's not like the flashy one as you can see right here. Kind of like iOS now, you can see that this is what it looks like before, except that it had an orange tint to it to match pages. And it was the same with numbers and keynote. Numbers was green, it's now just the Mac OS 13 one. I kind of like the Mac OS 14 one a lot better. And same with keynote, it was just blue and was just normal typing indicator. Now personally, I think this is a bug, but hopefully they revert this back in the next beta. Now we have a couple of changes with the Apple Weather app on the Mac. So there are actually little outlines here around the little boxes and they look pretty cool. I kind of like it. it. Gives it more of a little Mac-ish style to it. Just like iOS, we have the same exact bug with the battery widget. If we use the larger version of the battery widget, you'll notice that the icons and battery indicators are actually smaller. But not only that, the text is actually smaller. And it's kind of bugging out with the lines that are supposed to be there. And even if I move it to a retina display, okay, you can see it on a retina display, but you can't see it on my monitor for some reason. So that is obviously something Apple will probably fix in the next beta. Another bug that we have is actually one that we have in the previous betas, which I'm not sure is actually going to get fixed. I hope Apple can do something about this, but this just comes up randomly. It just says alert null is using a deprecated API that will be removed in the future. So I really don't think this is the most user-friendly way to tell developers that a certain API is deprecated. I actually don't think Apple should be removing APIs, but I think it is what it is. But hopefully Apple can change this and only tell the developers with like an email or something like that. Another bug that we have is actually with our our widget. So you'll see that be real here is not showing the be real icon and none of the iOS apps are actually showing an iOS icon. And another bug has to do with widgets built with Xcode 15 beta 2. So you'll notice that apps that were built with Xcode 15 beta 2 are no longer showing. They probably changed something. I'll have to look into it. And you can see that none of the Willy widgets are loading here. So I'll definitely need to update that in the future. That's all I can find inside of macOS Sonoma Beta 3. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!